This is question 15 from a series of videos taking a look at the Edexcel practice papers. Here we're told that the graph of y equals f of x is shown on the grid. And we can see that here, this is y equals f of x. Then we're told that the graph g is a translation of the graph of y equals f of x. So this is essentially the same graph that's been moved to the right. What we're asked to do for part a is to write down in terms of f the equation of graph g. So this is a graph transformations question and when we're answering questions about graph transformations uh, I like to use uh, an easy trick and that trick is as follows okay this is kind of the rules for the trick what we're going to be doing is we're going to look at the x and y coordinates so if we just take out a couple of the coordinates here OK, so if I take the maximum points to begin with, so the maximum points on y equals f of x is the first one is negative 4, 3. And what that is doing is negative 4, 3, the, that is being translated to um, having a coordinate of 1, 3. Then, if I look at the minimum point as well, what I can see is that this is negative 2, negative 1. And that is being translated to a minimum point of 3, uh, negative 1. So what I should recognise is going on here is that the thing that is changing when... Uh, I'm translating my graph is it's the x coordinate it's this first number the y coordinate is staying the same so it is the x coordinate that is changing so this means that I'm going to be looking at this column here okay because the coordinate that's changing is the x coordinate that means there's going to be a change inside the bracket of y equals f of x so there's going to be a change inside the bracket. And how I'm going to change it is I'm going to do the inverse of what has happened to my coordinates. So what I can see is that this coordinate has gone from, this x coordinate has gone from negative 5 to 1. And so what we can say is that we've added on 5. And again, this here, we've added on 5. So what I can then say is that um, because the change has happened in, uh, because the change has happened to the x coordinate, that means it's going to be a change inside the bracket, and we're going to do the inverse. So for part A, my answer is going to be y equals f of x, and then the inverse of plus five minus five. So it's insert the changes inside the bracket because it's affected the x coordinate and we're doing the inverse of what has happened. So my answer for part A is y equals f of x minus 5. For part B, we're asked to write down the coordinates of the maximum point of the graph of y equals f of negative x. So again, we can use this, um, this rule here, these rules that uh, are up here, and we can... The change has happened inside the bracket. The coordinate that we're going to be changing, therefore, is the x coordinate, and we're going to be doing the inverse. This is telling us to multiply by negative 1, and so what we're going to do is divide by negative 1. We're going to do the inverse. So we're going to take our x coordinate, negative 4, divide that by negative 1, and so what we are going to get is our new coordinate of 4. 3. So negative 4 divided by negative 1 will give us 4. And then the y coordinate doesn't change because there is no change uh, outside the bracket to y equals f of x. The change has happened inside the bracket. If you're completely confused by this, uh, this grid up the top, what I'd recommend that you do is watch the video on graph transformations, which explains how to use this grid.